Hello guys, in this video we will be talking about the quantitative instruments of RBI or the tools of monetary policy which we will be discussing in this video one by one. Okay. Cash reserve ratio it refers to certain percentage of the net demand and time liabilities which the commercial banks are required to maintain in the form of cash reserves only for the central bank. Okay, is maintained only in the form of cash, not in any other asset form or liquid assets. Here, one thing we need to understand is net demand and time liabilities. It is the total of the deposits from the saving account, reckoning account, current account, and fixed deposit account. Okay, as these deposits by the customers are liabilities for the bank, it is known as net demand as time liabilities. Okay, so next part. No interest is being paid on the deposit by the RBI. <coughs> that is, it is a no, uh, no. The commercial banks are not being paid any interest on this on the reserves which the commercial banks keep with the RBI. Third point: that through this cash reserve ratio, the central bank controls the money supply in the economy. So this is a very important point which we need to understand: that how they control the money supply in the economy. In the say in the economy there is inflation. So what the Reserve Bank of India can do? It can increase the cash reserve ratio. So how it will decrease the money supply in the economy? See, when there is inflation in the economy, so the Reserve Bank of India increases the cash reserve ratio. And because of the increase in the cash reserve ratio, the commercial banks are required to keep more reserve with the Reserve Bank of India, right? And because of which the money with the commercial bank decreases. As a result of which they can now give less of the loan or credit to the public. And thus in the economy the credit supply decreases or the money supply decreases. This solves the problem of inflation. Clear? Next point is that when there is deflation what the Reserve Bank of India can do. They can decrease the cash reserve ratio. And because of the decrease in the cash reserve ratio, uh, the now uh, now there are more money with the uh, commercial bank, right? And so they can land more of loan or credit. Thus, the problem of deflation decreases as the commercial banks can now give more of loan at less interest rates. Clear. And another important thing you need you need to be. Uh, you need to know is that the present CRR is 4%. Mm -hmm. Statutory liquidity ratio, which we can also say as SLR. It refers to a certain percentage of the net demand and time liabilities which the commercial banks are required to keep with themselves, that is, with the commercial bank itself in the form of liquid assets to maintain the solvency. Okay, you must be clear about it that CRR we used to keep with the Reserve Bank of India, but SLR we are keeping with the uh, with ourselves, that is, with the commercial bank itself. Okay, here another important thing that you need to understand is what is liquid asset. Liquid assets are those assets which can be readily convertible into cash. That is, you can keep these reserves in the form of cash, foreign currencies. Government securities, treasury bills, etc. Okay. Okay. Third point. Every Friday, the bank need to report RBI on the SLR maintenance. That means on every Friday, on uh, once a week, that means the commercial banks will have to report RBI that we have maintained the SLR amount which you have ordered us to maintain. Clear. Yeah, and if they fail, then a penalty will be charged on the commercial banks which fails to keep the reserve, the SLR reserves, right? And the present SLR rate is 19.5%. Okay, this is very important and we need to be clear about the difference between CRR and SLR. CRR first give the meaning. Okay, the, the cash reserve ratio refers to certain percentage of the net demand and time liabilities which the commercial banks 
are required to maintain in the form of cash reserves at the central bank. An SLR, SLR refers to certain percentage of the net demand and time liabilities which the commercial bank are required to keep it themselves in the form of liquid assets. Okay, to maintain the solvency. Next difference what we can give is form. In what form it has been kept? Cash reserve has been kept in the form of cash, yes, we know, and the SLR is being kept in the form of liquid asset like gold, cash, government securities, treasure bills, etc. Okay. Next difference what we can give is maintain. It has been maintained with the Reserve Bank of India as a cash reserve. Yes, right? And the statutory liquidity ratio is being maintained with the bank itself. Clear? And the fourth difference which what uh, which we can give is the rate. The present CRR rate is 4%, you know, right? And the SLR rate presently is 19.5%. Okay. Next is the repo rate. The repo rate is the rate at which the central bank of the country lends money to the commercial bank. This rate is charged on short term loan by the RBI. Okay, this is a very important thing which you need to remember, remember that this rate is charged only on short term basis loan. When the commercial bank takes short term loan, the repo rate is being charged. Okay. The next point is the lender of the last resort. I think you all will be clear with the function of the RBI. One of the function of the RBI is the lender of the last resort, right? Okay, lender of the last resort, so let me explain a little, little bit of it. It is that function when the commercial banks uh, needs money and it approaches first to the friends, right? Friends, who will be the friends? The, another commercial bank, say PNB needs fund today. They can go to the SBI or they can go to UCO or Bank of India, right? If these banks, UCO, SBI, BOI, Bank of India are not willing to or they do not have money to give loan to the Punjab National Bank as the last resort, the Punjab National Bank can go to RBI for loan that is short term loan and that time the rate at which the RBI will be lending loan to Reserve Bank of India is will be the repo rate clear the present repo rate is 6.25% uh, this repo rate is a very important tool which is used to control the money supply in the economy okay uh, if there is inflation in the economy, then uh, the Reserve Bank of India can increase the repo rate. If the repo rate is being increased, then what happens? The commercial banks which need money, they cannot approach the Reserve Bank of India for money. Or if even if um, they approach, they will have to pay um, uh, a more interest on the loan right so they will be demotivated to take loans right and these way the money with the commercial banks reduces and as a result the inflation problem is being solved clear and deflation is that when there is deflation in the economy much reserve bank of india can do as now we need to increase the money supply in the economy then the Reserve Bank of India decreases the repo rate. And as a result of decreasing the repo rate, the commercial banks will be willing to take loan from the Reserve Bank of India now. Yes. And the Reserve Bank of India will be providing loan. Clear. Yeah. And as a result of which, what happens? There is in the commercial banks have more money with them and they can now give more loan to the public and as and thus the deflation problem is being solved okay next is the reverse repo rate it is the rate at which the commercial bank lend money to the reserve bank of india that is the reserve bank of india borrows from the commercial bank at this reverse repo rate the the present reverse repo rate is six percent 
These reverse repo rates is also being used to control the money supply in the economy. So how they control? If there is inflation in the economy, what the Reserve Bank of India does, it increases the reverse repo rate, which attracts the commercial banks in, in providing loan to the Reserve Bank of India. Thus, if the commercial banks gives loan to the Reserve Bank of India, then the money with the commercial bank reduces, thus they can uh, give less loan to the customer right to the public this way the money supply in the economy reduces <clears throat> and if there is deflation what the reserve bank of india does it decreases the reverse repo rate and which demotivates the commercial banks from providing loan to the reserve bank of india and there is more money with the commercial banks to provide a credit or loan to the public which increases the money supply in the economy is it clear and if it's not clear please comment me and i will try to uh, explain it in a more better way okay next is the bank rate bank rate is a rate at which rbi lends money to the commercial bank this rate is being charged by rbi when it provides long-term loan this is a very important thing which you need to remember that it this bank rate is being charged by RBI on long term loan to the commercial bank provides loan to the commercial bank and the repo rate which we have learned before that rate is being charged when RBI provides short term loan to the commercial banks please be clear with these two points next point the present bank rate is 6.75 percent please remember this point okay next this bank rate is also being used to control the money supply in the economy in case of inflation, the RBI increases the bank rate and in case of deflation, it decreases the bank rate. 